Hey guys, thanks for coming back from the Harma channel. If you're new to this channel, can you please make sure you subscribe and leave me comments? I would love to hear from you. Today we'll be talking about should you hire a family member? If you're flipping properties, should you hire a family member? If you're in real estate, should you work with family member? Stay tuned and I'll be talking about that shortly. So let's talk about that. No matter what, if you rely on your family members, it is unlikely the journey will be amazing. But let's just specifically talk about flipping properties. I made a mistake many years ago, I will say the first project or the second project, I ended up hiring, not even a family member, I ended up hiring my best friend's father. Amazing man, kind man, understood construction, had a great two people team and I thought, great, I'm helping him. They just moved from another country, they needed the money and I trusted him. So guess what, trust, connection, friend, I thought fantastic, and he's gonna care. The problem became when I was not very clear with my expectations, and it's very hard to go back when you hire a family member. So listen to this, I gave a budget, he gave me a proposal, we agreed verbally, biggest mistake, always in writing, and I paid him upfront. Second biggest mistake, you never paid the person upfront. One third first, one third in the middle, and the last one third is gonna be when the job is completed. Remember that, we will talk about that in a different video. But right now, let's talk about how he started the project. He was learning too, he was not an expert. I just trusted him, I just liked him. So that was the emotional part of me, got involved, I hired the wrong person. He didn't know the glue for engineering wood, it's very different than doing a perga, or perga doesn't need, even need a glue. So why I ended up doing an engineer wood, which I did tell him that, he wanted additional 500 bucks for the glue. Then the baseboard, he didn't calculate that. He said, I never thought about it. So he wanted additional $800 and he had to paint it and install it. And he was claiming that he's just charging me the cost. The time period we've talked about, unexpected things came up, delayed three more weeks. And I can give you a few more things like a backsplash on a um, kitchen counter that he didn't count and on and on. But those are the things that we talk about remodeling the entire kitchen. I don't have to go through a line item. Yes, you do. Because it doesn't matter who you hire, you have to have every single thing itemized. So I didn't do any of that. I rely on him. I trusted him. Project delayed. And you know what's the worst thing about this? He was more upset with me than I could actually show my frustration. I couldn't show much, I tried to be respectful, he was older, and remember he needed the money. I didn't want to damage my relationship with my friend, so I kept it all quiet. The project was over, was complete, I had to do some other adjustment after that, but I learned, never ever hire someone that you care about and they're not expert at what they do, because the worst thing is you cannot fire them. And if their budget is wrong, you can't tell them, that's what you said, I'm not paying more, because then you're responsible for that. That is why I think it's very important to hire an expert, make sure you have an agreement in writing, and never pay them in advance. I hope this is helpful. Leave me comments, and thank you for watching this.